Hello everybody and welcome to my e-list and I'm your guru and in this video I'll tell you how to format your pages and with that we'll learn how to automatically number your pages in MS Word, where to insert a page number, choose what number a page, from what number the page, the page numbering starts from, how to use Roman numbers, how to remove the page numbering, how to insert a page break and how to insert a blank page. All right. So, uh, automatically inserting a page number is very, very simple. See, I have inserted a number over here. It says 5. We'll come to that. Why does my page number 1 says 5? But how did I do that? Let me see. Let me tell you. All right. So, what we do is we go to insert over here. We go to page number. And first of all, let me just remove the existing page number and then we go to insert, we go to page number and we say, we get this option, where would you like to insert the page number, top of page, bottom of page, page margin, current position. So I'm choosing top of page, it gives you these options. I like this one. So I choose this, automatically all my page numbers would be pages would be numbered. And then I click on close header and footer. Now, where to insert the page number? We were able to find. See, we, we just inserted the page number on the top. We can actually do that at the bottom also. See, let's try this. And the page number is now on the bottom. Let's change it again. On the top is better. All right. So let's close the header now. Alright, choose from where to start the numbering. Now that's very, very important. Sometimes you might choose that the first five pages of your document just contain say references or acknowledgements or index. They might not need to be numbered, but but or, or they might be numbered as A, B, C, D or Rome in, in Roman numerals. So you 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 can think of anything. So how do we do that? I, I did this. See, my page number one is actually page number five. So how did I do that? Let's see. Just click on page number, click on format page, choose the start at option and choose any number you want. So like I'm choosing one now, so the page number starts from one and similarly the pages at the bottom would automatically get numbered accordingly. See page number two, page number three. Word does that automatically for you makes life so very easy. Now, how to use Roman numbers? Well, not only Roman numbers, you can use other things also. Let me tell you how. See, you click on the page number button, you click on format, and here are multiple formats which you can use. One, two, three, uh, hyphen, one, two, three, a uh, small ABC, uh, uh, capital ABC, Roman letters. Let's have these Roman letters. See, we have the Roman letters now. I love the way these people write their files. B. Good one. All right. <laughs> How to remove page numbering? All right. I believe I already showed that, but let me still go ahead and do that. Click on insert, click on page number, and you will find this option. Remove page numbering and voila. The page numbering has gone. As easily as it came, and we can get it back again. Top of page. X and bar. And here we are. Insert a page break. Okay, sometimes while printing, what happens? That you would like that a specific paragraph should be starting from a next page. Like, say, for example, this one. We, I would like that this reading is easier to paragraph should start from this page. Now, there are two ways of doing it. I either press enter, 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 enter until this page, this, this paragraph goes to this page, right? Now, what would happen if I made some formatting changes over here and say deleted one line? You know what? This has come back, correct? Let me show you another way. I'm bringing that reading is easier paragraph back here again. Now, I'll be entering a page break over here. I click on insert, I click on page break. You see, automatically, this has gone 
to the next page. All right. Sorry. See, reading has gone to a next page. And now if I delete something, see, let me see, delete this complete paragraph, it will still not come back. See, that is how good it is. That's the, that, that's the benefit. Now, sometimes you may want to insert a blank page somewhere. Say you want to insert a blank page. Again, that option that you can press enter, 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 n number of times until you reach the next page. And then you'll have that blank space. But again, that same problem would happen if you deleted something, or made some additions on the pages above that. Uh, the changes would be undone, right? So, to insert the blank page, the best option is click on insert, choose the position and click blank page. That is how it is done. All right. I hope you like this video. So, please do share it with your friends and like it and comment upon it if you find something wrong. Or if you find me funny or good, do comment on that too. And then I'll see the next video. This is your guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.